rise and shine. It is your daily business tech boost with me, Charlie Latham. Topic number 313 today, we're going to be talking about storytelling in the email marketing. This is an extension to the series I've been doing recently about using email within your business and within your marketing and whatever it else, where ever else you can use it. Today we're going to be talking about why you want to use storytelling in your marketing. The first reason you want to use storytelling in your email marketing is to create an emotional connection. Storytelling helps you connect with your target audience. It helps make your brain brand, not brain, might make your brain but also your brand, memorable and relatable. It really does help create an emotional bond. I am actually going to refer you to the interview I did with Gabrielle Dolan, I think it was last year, 2023. And she speaks about why you can, why storytelling helps you create that. But I'm going to give you the example, one of the examples she gave me. And one of the examples was the woman who had worked, I think she worked for the public sector, had a child, wanted to go back to work, but was having trouble finding a childcare centre that met her child's needs. Um, I don't know the whole story. I'm just gonna. I'm just paraphrasing the, what I was given. Ultimately, what this woman ended up doing was creating her own childcare service, opening up her own childcare service. She opened up the childcare service and was then having trouble marketing it getting a USP, making it stand out from all the other childcare services in the area. And when Gabrielle sat down with her and spoke to her about it, she said, well, why did, why did you get, why did you start a childcare centre to begin with? And the answer was, and the answer, sorry, I'm just watching the dog. It's okay, we're good. Um, can you cut that out, please, Ryan? That would be fantastic. And the answer was, well, when I went to go back to work, I couldn't find somewhere. I couldn't find somewhere that met my child's needs. So in, rather than railing about it or giving up, yeah, so not giving up work, but rather than railing about it and getting really upset about it, I created my own childcare service that met my child's needs. That's the story she needs to be telling to her to, to people because that's going to connect with a specific type of person looking for a specific type of childcare that she provides. It's, it creates that emotional content, content connection, and it helps make her brand more, more memorable and relatable to her target audience. You can also use storytelling to engage content. Use storytelling to capture your reader's attention, keeping them engaged from the subject line all the way through to the call to action. If you are telling a story, rather than just writing out something that talks about the benefits and the features and why it's so good and the pricing, craft a story about how these benefits have helped people, how the benefits helped you how they've helped others. Use your case studies, use your testimonials, blend them all into a story. And then when you get down, by the time you get down to the call to the action, the call to action, people are really engaged and they're really wanting to find out more or do more with your product or service. Flowing on from that, it also helps to build trust. By sharing authentic stories about your brand's journey, your customer experiences, behind the scenes moments, even your own, like just scenes into your own personal growth within your own business or, or something along those lines, it's going to help build trust and credibility. People are going to feel that they're actually dealing with a real person. I cannot stress highly enough and more strongly enough how people buy from people. They don't buy from companies. They don't buy from AI. They buy from people. So it's really important that you build that trust and you let them feel that there is actually people behind your brand, behind your business. Storytelling also helps you demonstrate value by using narratives to illustrate the benefits of your products or services. You're going to make it easier for readers to understand how you or your product or your service, which however you want to put it, can solve their problems. 
remembering not people don't only just buy from people they also are looking to solve problems they're not looking to go out and buy for example i'm just looking at my ring light here a ring light i was looking to solve my lighting problems when i'm doing my podcast i don't know if i have solved my lighting problems but i was looking to solve my lighting problems when i was doing my podcast what do i need to do ring lights come up oh maybe a ring light will do it went and looked at all the stories and all the things about people using them maybe this will do it and I bought one or two in fact long story but you can use your storytelling to demonstrate value finally you can encourage action so once you've got stories that once you've got your story and your story includes clear problems and solutions and you you're, you're bringing people through that journey about how the here was the problem and here was here's how it was solved and you know here's something that might actually appeal to you and it someone can connect with that that problem and solution loop by the time they get down to that call to action they're going to want to take action and if they don't they're probably not your target audience but you can encourage them to take action more quickly or uh, more more yeah more more quickly make sure when you're doing all of this that you include stories in your email campaigns regularly you want to create a consistent brand voice to deepen the relationship with your audience over time and you do that by making sure that you tell stories in your email marketing on a regular basis I love storytelling. I I love writing stories, fictional stories. I think they're called fictional. Yeah, fictional stories. I love writing stories. I love writing. I love writing. I love, yeah, just telling stories about, you know, Sally met, Sally met Harry, those types of things. But you can also pull that into your email marketing. You can also sit down and make what can feel like sterile marketing content into a wholesome engaging insightful material that people will engage with sorry i'm getting very passionate about it aren't i i do love storytelling as part of the whole marketing narrative as part of the whole marketing package and pulling it into your email marketing is one of the best things that you can do so what do you guys think have you tried using storytelling in your marketing are you having trouble with telling story telling stories within your email marketing actually getting those stories to flow for you is that is that a problem have you nailed it if you have something you want to share and you know show us what you've done i would love to hear uh, please leave some comments wherever you are listening to or watching this video you can come across to my locals community ask charlieletham.locals.com and join the conversation there send us a dm on our social medias uh, i will respond eventually unless you're marketing to me and trying to get me to buy one of your marketing services i don't guys go back and watch my my, my videos about creating relationships <laughs> before you start selling to me on my on my comments and on my dms Apart from that, if you want to have an authentic conversation with me, if you want to engage with me, I would love to hear from you on our on our social media DMs and our social media channels. As always, if you could remember to like this video, I truly would appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you find out when our next piece of content goes out. Guys, tomorrow we're going to be talking about using email to increase customer lifetime value. It should be another interesting one. I'll see you all tomorrow, guys. Have a good day.